So welcome to this video. This video is all about the Toa Frame Smart Glide and Twist and Lock System A-Frame that we're going to be using to tow our car behind our motorhome. I've got lots of videos on uh, towing the car so I'll leave a link up here so you can have a look at some of those videos. But we've been given this uh, this system to to review and to use and to let you know how we get on with it. And uh, this video is really just about actually getting it attached. What we will be doing in the coming months is we'll be looking at the system, we'll be uh, saying how easy or, or, or not it is to use and uh, you'll see us towing the car um, in, in the coming months. So we picked up the, the system when we were at the NEC. We went to see Toa Frame on their stand and we looked at the new Smart Glide and we've we've had had it since then basically we used it to tow the car back from Summers Wood I would have filmed a little bit of that but the weather was absolutely atrocious and uh, I don't think it would have made a very good video with water running down um, <laughs> running down the lens so anyway let us know what you think if you've got any technical questions I will refer refer you to um, to Toa Frame who can answer any technical questions but if you've got any comments please leave them below and uh, we'll be happy to answer them. So here we go, I uh, hope you enjoy. Let's have a look what we've got in the bag first. Sign for the back window. twist and lock brackets two off padded bag and the pocket a spare wheel um, for the Alco hitch lock spare D cables breakaway cable Widget. Okay. And most importantly, the smart glide itself, which obviously we've been using. A little bit of muck on it. So let's have a look how we fit it. Yep. Okay. Pop off the thing. Twist it. Same thing, that way up, that way up. Push it in, twist it. Is that fitted? Put that somewhere so I don't lose it. see the legs extended there. So this thing here, this button here, allows you to move the legs in and out like that. I'll take the D-clips off. Just come out like that. Oops. I'll put this one on first. was a trick of it, that's it. That one. On the other D clip. I need to extend the leg a little bit. Let's 
that's it. That's the frame as it is. And that can move, you see that can move about. Right. So what you can then do is you take the widget and you can wedge it in one or two positions. So you can wedge it up like that. So it allows you to drive to where your motorhome is, around the campsite obviously. This is in the unlocked position, so open that. So open that, push that down, and that's to prevent people stealing it when it's locked. It's unlocked at the moment. Got two of those for some reason. Now you can bring it either to the motorhome or you can take the car to the motorhome. In this case I'm going to bring the motorhome back to the car. So the other position, the other position is with this level. So you put the wedge in that way around and that allows you to keep this on a level. So I can back the motorhome up to this. So I'm just going to do that. Got a little D clip there that just holds it in place. In here, somewhere, that's the, that's the breakaway switch. If that comes away, that applies the brakes. I'll show you that in a minute. Right, something you should check, really probably once a week or so, is if you pull the plug out, pull that out, and switch the unit on, that way you know the braking system's working with the emergency brake. So if that comes out on your breakaway cable, brakes are going to go on. So it's important to check that. Right, a bit of a distance away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift that up, put that like that, and move the car a bit closer. And see if we move that about now, and that's it. That easy. That's so much easier than the previous system. Doesn't matter. You don't. Doesn't matter how close you are to the car, to the van. Just move it within touching distance. Attach your breakaway cable. Switch the engine off. Pop the bonnet. This comes off. Plug it in. I can put that 
back in the bag now. You see these pins? The fact that they're down means this is not locked. So what we'd normally do is drive the motor home forward a little bit to lock them. Okay? Do that. Let me just put the bonnet down. Cable just tucks in there like that. Okay. I'm just gonna drop I'm just gonna drive the motor home forward a little bit. So once these are up, once these pins are up, you can then put these in. And it's basically a, a double check safety lock, if you like. So even if those go down, this is not going anywhere then. So it's a double safety feature. So put those in there like that, like that. I'll use my little, use my little bit of um, thing there just tie that around there. Need a bit of, new bit of velcro there. That's that. So back into the car now. Right, so at the bottom here we've got this unit here and this is the brake sensor. Um, this detects when the car's slowing down. So you put that on. Make sure you're in neutral. Handbrake off. So take the ignition key, put it in the lock, turn it so the ignition comes on, then turn the ignition off. What that means then is the steering wheel is free to move. Okay, move the steering wheel, but leave the key in the ignition. This pocket here, ideal for keeping your number plate in. Number plate changed. This is the trickiest bit for me. I need to get some suckers for, for the, what I've got of these things. These work, but they're a bit clunky. I'll sort of wedge it in there. So that's basically it. You've got your number plate in there. You've got your reflective triangles in the back. Just final check. D clips are in the right place. That's up. D clip, that's up. D clip, breakaway cable, electric. Make sure you lock the car. So that's it for this little video. Um, we're going to next time. We're going to be using the Toa Frame Smart Glide and um, Twist and Lock system. Is when we go to the Yorkshire Motorhome and Accessory Show uh, towards the end of March, and uh, so we'll report back on it uh, from there. So you'll see us using it there. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and it all helps the channel. And I'll catch up with you soon.